Okay, here are the last 15 college football championships. Uh, what team has won them? What conference they're from? And the talent rankings for their roster. So this is the year, the team that won the championship, the conference they're from, the talent ranking of the team, the uh, talent composite, the runner-up team, and the talent composite of that team as well. Now, as you can see, in the past 15 years, has been dominated by the SEC, right? You got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 of the last 15 national championship winners have been from the SEC, all right? And then you got 1, 2, 3 from the ACC, so 3 out of the last 15 winners have been from the ACC, and then you got one Big Ten team. So in the last 15 years, one Big Ten team has won the national championship. And it was Ohio State, as you can see right here. Now over here, you have the talent rank composite for the teams. So when Alabama won it last year, they had the number two ranking roster, talent on their roster of all the teams in college football. The year before that was LSU. LSU had the number five ranking Clemson had the number six, Alabama one, Clemson nine, Alabama one. So this is the talent ranking. So it looks like, if you look at these numbers, having a top ten talent ranking for your roster is probably a pretty good and or necessary variable to have to win the national championship. At least for the last uh, six years, that has been true. Some people have been saying it does not matter what your team's talent composite is and Coaches are coaching up their team, you know, coaching up the players, and, mm, you know, these numbers kind of state otherwise. Now, as you can see, the SEC has won 73%. SEC winning 11, they've won 73% of the past 15 national championships. The ACC winning 3 has won 20%, and the Big Ten has won 7% of the last 15 championships. So... The SEC is literally 10 times more successful at winning the college football championship than the Big Ten in the last 15 years. 10 times. 10 times, right? So if you're a Michigan fan, it is okay to be optimistic and want your team to win, but to simply declare the SEC's weak and blah, blah, and Georgia ain't played nobody, and Michigan gonna win by two touchdowns, you, you don't know anything about football, and all this kind of stuff. <laughs> well, there, there really is no basis for that argument, all right? At least provide some reasonable, you know, reason as to why they're gonna win, why they're gonna buck the trend, because these are the numbers. These numbers don't lie. SEC is king these days, and by a lot. It's not even close. So if Michigan beats Georgia and then the winner and then they beat the winner of Bam and Cincinnati, uh, that would be amazing. Uh, they are currently a seven and a half point underdog to Georgia, so the experts think Georgia's going to win. Right. So right now Georgia's ranked as the number two talent composite in college football, and Michigan's ranked at number fifteen. Again, you, you really want to be top ten. So you know Georgia's talent ranking is more in line with the champions of the past six years at least. That's undeniable. Those are just the facts, right? Now, can Michigan win? Sure. Uh, Georgia got destroyed by Alabama's passing game, so they appear to be vulnerable to the pass. You know, they didn't play a lot of, you know, teams that were good, you know, passing the ball. Georgia kind of exposed that, so Michigan can win the game. Uh, you know, maybe Michigan can run on the Georgia defense. That would definitely be a problem for Georgia. Um, you know, I believe it when I see it because Georgia does have the number three run defense. But hey, Michigan ran all over Ohio State. They did. And I mean, they really took it to them. So who knows? Maybe they could run against Georgia, but we'll have to see, right? I'm not a Michigan hater. And I was rooting for Jim Harbaugh to, you know, to finally beat Ohio State. I love the game. We were screaming. We we're going crazy. It was an awesome game to watch. But Georgia, you know, Georgia's next. And now, you know, they're entering SEC country. And the dynamics are a little bit different. So I'll be doing more comparison videos on the SEC versus Big Ten. Uh, watch them if you'd like to get more educated on the subject matter. If you have a very compelling reason why Michigan's going to overcome this talent trend, you know, please do comment below. I'd love to hear opposing uh, points of view, right? That's about it. Y'all stay safe and have a great day. Bye-bye.